Hello and welcome to another Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. My name is Vertinox, or Mr. Vertinox if you're feeling formal. We're continuing our epic journey into uh, Dwarf Fortress. I think last episode we worked a little bit on the military killing off <laughs> an insane dwarf. Uh, now we need to, in my opinion, kind of beef up our fort uh, defenses and get some actual armor and so on. Uh, uh, and let's get started on that. All right. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is already, maybe I should have done this off camera, but I'm going to build some more weapon traps that I've got here just in case some goblins show up or one random monster. Make sure we got the oak and spikes. got them all so I designate that now one thing I want to do before we get our metal industry up and running is actually set up a bookkeeper uh, with the bookkeeper we can um, keep back we can keep tabs of different things uh, like b different bars of metal and ore in our fort uh, let's get that started, shall we? Let me build. Oops, not bed. B for build, D for door. Place some doors here. Looks like we got three, so you don't have to build more. Don't think I've got tables and chairs, though. Let me hit B. Uh, T for table. Needs table. C for chair. Oh, we got a chair. So I will place a chair smack dab in the center of this room. We've got three, so I can place the other one here. I like to keep everything centered. And and let me think what else I was doing. Oh, I need to make a, a third third room here. just to make this I like to build different rooms for my um, I guess nobles which the bookkeeper even though he's out low on the totem pole he's still a noble alright um, space to resume we got some unhappy dwarfs running around uh, I'd have to put the military off on off training status for the time being because they were getting really unhappy and I don't know, I'm not completely necessary into training the dwarves, or I don't think it's completely necessary to train the dwarves. Uh, well, they're still working. I'm just going to hopefully let those dwarves not go crazy. Oh, if they go crazy, we can put them down. Unfortunately, it's the military. We'd be killing more of our own military. All right, checking our stocks there. Let me check our steel to make sure we've got uh, no, we ran out of pots. Let me brew a drink. Get that back up and running. Let me make sure our workshops are all running stuff. Make rock mugs. Make rock pots. We need both of those for a functional fortress. Alright. Uh, let me finish digging out that. Let me build another door. And while we're at it, I need to find some type of that. Whatever metals we have, I need to find. Um, generally, the way I find metals is explore the lower areas. And we haven't done that yet. Um, it's something we ought to do. Any any good, any good dwarf would dig as far as down as they possibly could. So I'm going to get that started. I'm going to dig a tunnel to the edge of the map. Because that's usually the best place to dig. It's kind of towards the edges. Because if you dig in the centers, you generally end up getting into caverns. And I don't know. For me, personally, out of personal experience, if I go to the edge of the map and dig there, I can avoid the caverns below. Um, the reason why I avoid caverns is because they have things in them like forgotten beasts um, and other nasties. So I'm going to try to avoid caverns if I can and get to the good metal below. Uh, probably right now I'm not going to build a 
a magma works or a uh, get to the adamantium uh, at this point because that that's probably too advanced for a tutorial and I, I never get to that until I'm really settled in uh, all right so I need to make some tables if I haven't already uh, just need to well, I'm gonna make four tables you never never okay needs I'm just mumbling to myself at this point <laughs> all right need tables and do I have a bed no I, I need another bed And add new task. Make bed. I can see he's making pots. Actually, what kind of metals do I have? Shell, sterling silver, bronze. I don't know if I've got enough to make any uh, metals. Actually, I got a lot of gems in there. I, I don't know what to do with. Probably should make a jewelry and make a gem shop. Just because we have so many gems. I don't know. I never make a jewelry until I, I get a request for it by a crazed dwarf. Um, so we'll worry about that in a little bit. Alright, so we're dug down here. Now I need to make some stairs to go down a level. Uh oh. There we go. We got another person taken by a mood. But what does a planner need? Oh, he's going to pick one something. He picked the craft store shop. Okay, let's stop for a moment and, and cover this mood. We've actually got a dwarf that's covered one of the, uh, that's actually claimed a workshop. Generally, he will go and get more stuff. Why does that? I'm going to build another craft dwarf's workshop because while he claims it, you can't really use use it. <laughs> and unfortunately, I need those cups to be mass produced as much as possible. So, craft dwarf shop, where are you? And I probably need to mine out some more workshops there in a, in a little bit. Build it out of shell. All right, he's going to get some wood. I'm going to just keep an eye on him for just a bit. And what else is he going to get? I'm following. He's the guy blinking with a, the um, exclamation mark. Uh, he's getting some uh, a block, and he stopped. All right, um, what does he need? Let's find out. Needs tree life, bricks, gem shining. All right. Now I was talking about making that dwarf uh, cutting some gems. Uh, with the jewelers, here's the point where we need to make some ju uh, gems. So actually, when you have the choice between letting a dwarf go insane or creating the artifact, it's always beneficial to have him create the artifact because it always creates an, a great item of value and makes the dwarf happy. I, I I don't know how happy, but it generally it it boosts morale just a little bit of that one dwarf. I think uh, instead of him going crazy. All right, let's make a jeweler's workshop. B build W for workshop and it's jewelers. I can't remember if this one's gonna block it off. I got some gem cutters, I believe. We get out of shell. Let me go to you to see what we got. Uh, I think they killed one of the uh, gem makers. All right, I don't have a gem maker. I tend to make. The glass maker, gem cutters, when there's none available elsewhere. And I'm just making sure. Yeah, I think when the guy went crazy, he killed a gem cutter. Alright. Uh, glass maker. I'm going to pick the first glass maker and turn him into a gem crafter. So we hit, uh, I'm going to hit, uh, of course, I'm always going to label him. B Y N. Call him Gem. Gem. She's out totally outrageous. Totally outrageous. Anyways. <laughs> Alright. Uh, C V L P L. Alright, we're going to turn off hauling. I'm going to leave. Why does he have clothes making on? I'm going to turn that off. Actually, we, we, made, we probably need to make some clothes before we continue. We probably have some doors die and get rid of the clothes, but uh, that's something else we need to create is a clothes industry which I'll buy some cloth from the dwarfs and generate some clothes because 
if you in the newer versions close decay and if dwarves close rot off uh, or they their clothes become too tattered they'll stop wearing them and then they'll get upset because they're nude and they'll kill everybody all right uh, I see a problem here first the gem the gem place is all right it's blocked off I'm gonna have to build a upper because of the way that 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 um, gem place was positioned uh, it needs to be built in an upper slot and I'll do that quickly here and then we'll get to exploratory mining All right. because that's something we should really cover is try to get those minerals try to get a mining industry up there's so much stuff you need to do in here it's, it, it never ends one project is done and then you've got a new one to begin alright well let them mine that out and while we're waiting I wonder if we finish the tables yet build T table 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 bed still needs bed is the carpenter did I make the carpenter make a bed no, I still construct bed alright let resume And where's the miners? They're both asleep. On break, store item and barrel. This hauling is turned off. I don't know. My miners are so useless. Actually, do we have a peasant? Oh, I forgot to turn off my ho uh, fish uh, on my man uh, militia commander. Let me do that really quick. Turn fishing off of him. All right. Him forget doing that. All right. And here they come to dig. And hopefully they'll dig it out pretty quickly. We do need that guy to actually get his gems. Okay, we got some migrants. Check our status here. Uh, drink, we got 100. Plant, 200. Food, we got plenty of food there. Or at least enough for a small amount of dwarves so far. Come on. Alright, we built that out. Alright, build. W workshop. And we're going to build the jewelers. Hopefully they can build it this time. Shell. And gem. Oh, we got a gem cutter this time. <laughs> uh, tsh, 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 tsh. What the glass maker? Eh, it doesn't matter. The glass maker can still make. Uh... Oh, I, I'm. I'm retarded. It was the. It was the down. Down. <laughs> this is the workshops down below that I need to create. Not the other way. Forgive me for my uh, derpness. All right. Now we should mine the downward. All right. Build out. Come on. To the right. Oh come on! <laughs> he could have built. He could have dug out that last couple spots there, and we'd be able to quickly build. There we go. Build workshop. This time, jeweler's workshop. And let's get it. Let's get it built. Shell. All right. Well, it's working on that. Let me go to you. And we need a bookkeeper. Don't know of anybody that's not necessary. Uh, dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna go with a ranger. Rangers don't do anything of importance, so let's make him the bookkeeper. Uh, v to view. Oops. Uh, why to customize? We'll name him book. And we'll go to C. And I'm 
undo his all his activities go to nobles go to bookkeeper and I got to go to book 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 fortunately when you get so many doors this kinda gets to be a pain but it's not going since it's paused it's not going anywhere take your time I mean, you know some people love dwarf therapist for this particular action but uh, I find doing it native is sometimes more uh, cooler I guess I don't know some people might think differently there's the book all right now a bookkeeper needs an office that's why I built that special room and put some tears and tables in there so that uh, he has an office to work with he doesn't need much no, he's not like the other nobles which need furnished uh, offices so first thing I'm gonna do is go to this table make throne room study plus plus and I'm assigned chair to the oops sign chair using the plus or minus sign in the bookkeeper I'm also going to assign him his own table Sign his own table. And I'm going to sign him his own bed. Well, they haven't built the bed yet. I wonder what the carpenter's doing. Woodcutter. Did we lose the carpenter? Alright, now he's just not. He's eating and drinking like most normal dwarfs do. I'm going to need to build some more tables and chairs with all these dwarves. Uh, and while we're at it... Alright, oh, the gems thing's built. Alright, so let's make some cut gems here. Cut some sard. Uh, hold on, what is this? K. Okay. Rough sards. Okay. Rough sarge or gem, so let's make three just to be safe. He might need more. Cut gems, cut gems, cut gems. We'll cut five gems. Let the and I'll make some blocks too, just in case he wanted more blocks. And I'm gonna make some statues while I'm thinking of it. Another Ran t random tangent. I need, I need some statues, and we'll make five statues. All right. So uh, we're gone, and I think he's going to. Oh, one other thing about the bookkeeper. I need to set the uh, go to the noble screen by going to N. And then I need to go to the bookkeeper, and you can see he doesn't have any red or yellow, which means his office is uh, decent. I'm going to hit settings for the S key. That's the S key. And I'm going to do all counts accurate. And that gives me the highest precision of all items in the fort. The bookkeeper will do nothing but bookkeep, but since he's dedicated to bookkeeping with all his jobs turned and professions turned off, it'll be fairly easy for him to do and that way we can actually identify items to melt uh, melt down in the um, menu uh, that's one thing we want to do is melt items and we'll get that started now uh, let me build all right what's going on a oh here he goes he had the gems since I made the gems the farmer is now starting the mysterious construction. So that's good. Now he won't go berserk and kill people. All right. Um, we need to make uh, some furnaces because I'm going to start, since we're looking at the bookkeepers, actually going to be updating the records. And you can already see now that instead of question marks, we got exact counts of items to items to do. Oh, crud. And I needed to... Add rock. 
make rock mugs and hopefully one of the dedicated work crafters will start working on that all right now I need to all right first thing I need I need to start that mining downtown all right let's see D for dig I'm gonna move some downward stairways uh, J yeah, J for downward stairways I know you can't re you can dig to the edge of the map but I wouldn't recommend that because I always want a barrier to make sure it's enclosed so we're gonna build some downward stairways right there entering to as of again I showed in the previous videos entering to kind of corner it off now when you're going down a long ways uh, you don't want to build like up and down you need a up at, well you need an up and down stairway to go multiple levels because otherwise you have to build a down stairway and then move over and it gets complicated so trust me on this when you when you have multiple levels you need stairs you need up and down stairways which is the I key so we're going to build up and down stairways here one two three four and you count from the surface so from the surface we've gone five down one two three four five all right I think five down is good enough for now uh, I'm going to dig you can go further if you're feeling adventurous. You might run into a cavern, though, but I know there's some shallow me me metal somewhere, and I'm going to start exploring kind of high up. So I'm going to build an upward stairway at this point. No, I take that back. I'm going to keep digging further down. Well, I'm going to keep further furthering down, so I'm going to actually make an up-down stairway here because I want to continue going all the way down. But on this level... We're going to dig. Uh, which way are we going to dig? All the way up to this corner. Dig a fur pretty fur far ways here. And we'll get a view slice of the entire. Now, one thing if you. Do keep in mind in Dwarf Fortress there's things called cave-ins. If you dig out the entire floor, I guess the entire world would cave in. Um, in this case, I mean you can have the entire map supported by one one unit. So it's not really you not really something you have to worry about too much. Um, oh, the farmer has finished a ashen amulet. I guess I don't know what he did with how, what kind of amulet it is. We can find out exactly by going to L for artifacts and hit view just for the description once it's selected. This is an ashen amulet. All craftsman door is of the highest quality. It's decorated with ashen, encircled with bands of square, brilliant cut shards. The object is menacing with spikes of shale. So he made a nice amulet. I mean, you could sell it, but I wouldn't recommend selling it. It's something you want to keep in the fourth. And actually, if you sell an item, the. Um, Dwarves get unhappy. They have really bad thoughts that they lost their items. All right. I'm going to have the woodcutters cut more of the forest down. Uh, screw any elves that might be upset. I just need more wood for the time being. Cause I'm going to make more spikes because I have a feeling that something might show up to our fort soon. Wooden spike, 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 wooden spike. A, a and enter to add really quick. And I believe they finished building that bed. Alright, let that go. Let's check out the lower location. They're still digging. Let's see what we got. Uh, what metals? Uh, here we got a metal. Saffrolite. All right, what is saffrolite? Now, <laughs> there's so many ores in Dwarf Fortress, I can't remember each and every single one of them. Um, that's why we're going to go to the Dwarf Fortress wiki and look it up. So I type in Dwarf Fortress in Google. Uh, type Google Dwarf 
Oh yeah, and I'm also a Paradox Interactive fan. They make great games. All right, Dwarf Fortress, and how do you spell that? S P H A. They don't. They don't make it easy to spell. All right, uh, S P H A L E R I T E. We'll go to the first hit. Now you need to switch. I uh, usually do the latest version in the wiki. All right. Uh, uh well, hmm. it's not that good. It just it makes zinc apparently. Uh, maybe we got some other metals in here. Zinc's really not good. I mean, you could probably make coins with it. I mean, you make alloys with brass. I I don't know anything really good with brass. Is that another saffrolite? Or down here. I may have gotten a lousy fort if that's the only mineral I have on the top levels here. Well, dig, it's basically a cross section of the, the the map if you do like up and down. And I don't know. I'm going to make a hotkey here. Let's see. Oh. And it, it warped me to what right when I was trying to make the hop key to let me know the baby girl was born. I guess we got a lot of girls. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Hit the... Duh, 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 duh. I'm hit the capital H. F4. Z to zoom. All right. So we got access to this. All right. So we can make, we can make zinc. I really don't think that's a good metal to make weapons out of so we'll probably have to be importing a lot of other metals uh, I might dig around a little bit more and see what else we can find but uh, my feeling is we're not gonna get it a lot of times that happens you just don't get uh, a good embark it has metals but it's not the right metals alright so it's got some gems down there alright um, check our status here of what's going on mechanic mason all right you made the statues by the way so let's make some statues build statue I'm gonna build a statue garden here and that makes dwarves happy and it puts the dwarves in the same room where they're sleeping so if a vampire comes in They'll uh, they'll probably be a, a dwarf in the um, thing looking for looking at the statues. Uh, that's one thing you can build as a statue garden, which is fairly handy. All right, are they building menacing wooden spikes? Yes, they are. And let's check our Z. seeds are kind of low. Fish drink. Uh, we're on the upward on drinks, I believe, as long as we're pumping out. We might want to make a third steel, actually. I'm going to do that. Increase our output. Hit B. W workshop. Another steel. Shell. And I'm going to go to you. I think we got a dedicated... Farmer, farmer, beekeeper, uh, butcher, dyer, miller, planter, planter, soap maker. Um, I am going to enable the soap maker. I don't. You can. We get to a point where you make soap, but right now I am just going to use him as a dedicated brewer. All right, brewer. Let's see. Hauling off engineering. And we'll leave soap making on. He won't be doing that, but he will be brewing. Alright. And let me make sure I had three brewers. I uh, can't remember what I made the one brewer. Oh, I was a fish cleaner. He's brewing a drink. And the other brewer 
is doing nothing. I don't know why, but uh, make sure it's yeah. He's he can he can brew if it if it's possible to brew, he'll brew. All right, let's take a look at something really quick. I'm gonna get my metal industry up and get some basic weapons. First thing for metal industry is to get uh, a wood furnace to burn uh, wood to make charcoal. Um, I mean, if you dig down far enough to get to the magma, you can use magma furnaces and you don't have to have wood. Um, we'll not get into that. Uh, I don't think I even will want to get to that because that's, that's probably another hour worth of work uh, at this point. And I want to show you, basically off the bat, if you're just starting out with your small fort without digging down the magma, how you would uh, mix metal industry. So first we need a, a wood burning shop. So hit B to build. It's not under workshops. Furnaces are found under furnaces. And we're going to build a wood furnace. Uh, probably only need one for right now. Build it out of shell. We also need a uh, smelter. It's under the same menu under for furnaces. I'm going to build it out of shell. And the other workshop is I'm going to build a metalsmith forge. And that's basically all you need. Oh, you need an iron. That's why you brought an iron anvil on the uh, embark screen. Uh, otherwise, you'd have to trade one to, to start out with. Because you would need an iron anvil to create an, an iron anvil if you're smelting one. All right. And we're doing shell. All right. Let me make sure we have we have any wood burners. Um, we got it. We got a furnace operator. I am going to enable his abilities by going to C, turning off hauling, furnace operating, and I'm going to farming and turning on wood burning. It's almost the same. There's no there's no masterwork. Uh, charcoal. Uh, did I do that right? Oh, waiting for architect smelter. All right. So they'll be building those two items there. All right. So let's check out our mine. Have we found any other minerals? K. Okay. Uh, Sapphirite. We got a lot of sapphirite. What's this? Cobalite, turquoise. Oh, that's kind of cool. What can we do with cobalite? Uh, let's go back to our. And what is it? Cobalt. Oops, I misspelled that, as always. C-O-B-A-L-L-T-I-T-E. Uh, oops. Uh, blue stone. It is not usable. It can be used good for constru uh, construction and and uh, good for uh, siege engineering. All right, so I don't see anything in particular here. Sapphire's not going to do too much for this. I could, I guess, I could dig around the map and see if there's any other veins. Uh, I'm going to do that just just to be sure that we're not missing out anything else. I'm going to continue mining the entire four corners. And you don't have to worry about cave-in as long as there's supports up around. It'll take some time to actually mine this out. But just in case there's any type of minerals We'll find it. Hopefully there's something else besides zinc. That'd be nice if there was. Alright. Uh, 
wood furnace smelter. All right, let's get the word furnace started up. I am going to make 10 charcoals. Again, use the Q menu. Hopefully, you guys have learned this by now. Q menu, add new task, plus and minus, get the charcoal all the way down. So they're going to make 10 units of charcoal. And that's used for uh, smelting things. And while we're at it, I am going to melt down some toys that I bought. If you can see here, I actually bought bronze flute, bronze trumpet, copper drum, bronze drum, copper up. And the reason I, I did the, the, um, the uh, bookkeeper is so that I can go into stocks and go into the categories like musical instruments and I am going to type M to melt. I'm going to tag these items for melting. Uh, copper piccolo, bronze fruit, all set up. Let's see, tools, toys, oh you got some metal toys we can make melt down. And do we have any weapons yet? All right, weapons. Weapons, weapons, weapons. I think we only got the bronze battle axe, shield, copper buckler, leg wear, armor, weapons. Now we got some weapons in here. Uh Silver battle axe. Oh, we got a silver battle axe. Where did we get that? I guess we we started with that. Bronze copper crossbow. Bronze warhammer. Well, we got some. We got some uh, items there. All right, so we tag some items to melt. Uh, they need to make some charcoal first before they they melt that. So let's wait for them to. Uh, furnace arc. He's making charcoal so that should be the first thing on the to-do list check out my miners see if they found anything yet I'm just really want I'm tempted to go down deeper and find look around some more see if there's any other ores down below we might hit a cavern and in that case while I'm thinking of it, I am going to build a backdoor bridge just in case we find a forgotten beast uh, downstairs. Um, it's something that uh, we can resolve if we have to close up shop really quick. So let's see, I'm going to build G for bridge, K to expand four. I like mine four long and three tall. Hit the A to retract that direction. Build with a shell. And I'm going to make sure we've got some mechanicisms. Mechanisms. About ten or so. Cause and then make the lever and the connection. All right. Um, quick check on somebody random, so we see what our happiness quality is of as of late. He has been happy. Find my to find train depot and died in lever engineering. Oh, we need to make more beds, I think. Um, as soon as they're done with making the wooden spikes make more beds if you see in the in the I, I'm probably going so fast you can't read it you can pause it if you want to and see it it's basically telling me that uh, there wasn't enough uh, beds he slept on the floor lately alright we actually got the statues up and built um, I'm gonna make a statue garden this also improves happiness of dwarves so I'm gonna make this area Hold on. I'm going to deconstruct this building. I'm going to go into building mode, hit uh, X to remove building, 
and then I'm going to build C not C uh, workshop kitchen I'm going to build it down here the shell and I'm also going to build not with the build menu I, well yeah build menu C wall you to make this I don't know I just didn't want the, the kitchen in the bedroom I don't know so you can do that if you want but I don't know one other thing you may notice dwarves when they blink blue like here that means they're thirsty and they're drinking um, so they're they'll drink straight out of the uh, barrel when they go eat they'll actually take the item and take like this dwarf is doing takes it to the chair and sits down and eat eats uh, and that gets them the heavy thought of being in a um, legendary dining hall and let's check my food industry making sure that's built we'll make another brew 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 alright now check Z so that'll upkeep the and also in the Z menu you can see exactly what stocks you have in prepared meals we got tons of prepared meals from the probably the eggs and make sure our cook is actually we got two cooks I guess apparently I got two cooks for some odd reason um, that doesn't matter we'll Uh, why is this suspended? Sometimes things get suspended because like an animal is standing on it and if it's suspended use the Q button to select it and then S to suspend that makes it more active outpost alright looks like the dwarves have arrived from the outpost caravan from Na Na Nuba Nus this has arrived however you say that and we need to first hit Q, go to the trade depot, hit R. Trader requests a depot, hit G to request goods. And we're going to select our finished goods. I don't want. You know, you can sell your menacing spikes for a lot of money. It's interesting. Apparently, we didn't get all the shis. Mugs, shell mugs. I wonder why they're not in the bins. Anyways, that that doesn't matter. They'll they'll haul everything, and we'll trade for. I'll, I'll probably have some iron ore as well. As well. And let me see if we've got uh, we got some charcoal. So I'm gonna smelt some stuff. Usually, what I do. How much charcoal is he made? not very much uh, hopefully we'll get to that I, I know I got 15 more minutes I wanna get into this I'm kind of all over the place alright let me just check our mine and the outpost liaison has arrived to talk with our um, dwarf alright let's quickly this time when we have more stuff that we want I want to of course have all the wood possible using the left and right arrow keys and plus and minus to go down the side all right let's get this over as quickly as possible the next tip I would recommend is go to metal bars choose iron bars golden bars and steel bars those are probably the most best things to buy because you can make golden statues out of gold and that's the highest value I think next to platinum can you choose platinum I, I don't I guess you can make an adamantium statue but why, why would you when you can make weapons out of it and like super awesome weapons alright 
and what else do we need? We need I always need seeds. Uh, anvils is what you want too because you can smelt anvils. Weapons I don't really care for. We can make our own. Uh, I want drinks. You can never have enough drinks. And plants. Oh, and and I'll do the first page of meat. So this is taking way too long. You know, I might make this a two-hour let's play <laughs> at this point because there's so much to do. And I even got even. I'm thinking in the back of my head. I'm gonna have to start a, start a jail eventually. Uh, one more page of meat, so we have lots of meats for us to buy. Because dwarves, dwarves like meat. I mean, they can live off plump helmets, and we can cook plump helmets instead of brewing them. But I think dwarves prefer meat because only elves eat plants. All right, so I've got enough here, I think. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. Press the escape, and what was I doing in here? I was about to check what minerals we got. Slate. Uh, it might be a good building material. I don't know. After they they've done digging on this level, I'm gonna go five more down and dig around. All right. Uh, merchants have arrived. What is our? Oh, broker is drinking. Hopefully he won't take too long. We're actually let me hit you and look for our broker. Now he's trading at depot. Okay, there he goes. And I can tell him by because he's that guy in the little green and yellow piece of paper. Alright, now we can trade. Now uh, they're still unloading. Sometimes they if you're too impatient it takes them oh, no one of the wagons haven't got in yet. Alright, we'll just wait for the wagons. And how much charcoal have we made? You know, I'm going to see if we've got another I am going to make the armor also a furnace operator um, just because I want this process to go a lot faster so I'm going to go in metalsmithing. I'm going to turn this furnace thing operator. I'm not going to wait, make him a wood burner because we already got one on that. Uh, escape. And I'm going to show you while we're waiting on the wagons how to smelt items. Since you know what, the earlier I tag those items in the Z menu uh, to melt. You can also do the same thing by going K, hitting the item, pressing enter, and you can choose M for melt here as well. Uh, I use the Z menu because you can get everything without hunting down each individual item. So to melt, smelt items down at ore, select the smelter, uh, hit A, choose smelt metal object, and instead of doing it multiple times because I forget how many items I tag for melting, I just hit R and they should start smelting away. Alright, let's get the wagons in. Do, 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 do. Almost there. They'll unload their wagons and we'll be ready to... Oh, come on. They're taking their sweet time. Take a drink here while we're waiting. Because I can still see the wagon, and I think that means that they still haven't unloaded yet. Oh, they're done. All right. Anything of interest? Uh, maybe I'll take another sterling silver bar. I'll take some raw glass. Sometimes you need that. All right. We need the wood. Palm chestnut. Da, 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 da. I'm using the inner and the arrow keys to quickly plow through these menus because I want to buy as much wood possible because it's extremely cheap and it's a lot less time consuming than well, let us say um, actually mining it. Alright, so we've done that. Uh, let's see what we got. I need to buy some alcohol, dwarven beer, dwarven ale, dwarven rum more beer buy these barrels that are cheap more wine more ale more wine more wine more ale beer beer rum rum ale rum rum all right 
and da, 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 bronze mill sure that's too expensive that's still battle axe is awesome but you can make you can make it with enough when I get the steel bars next time iron helm uh, we're gonna get an iron helm all right plump helmet spawn Pigtail seeds, cave wheat seeds, plump helmets. You know, I actually forgot I'm actually not making cave wheat. I completely forgot about that. It doesn't matter. All right, but cave wheats, plump helmet spawn. All right, now I'm going to buy a bunch of wool cloth. I'm not going to buy this cave sil spike zero and pig pigtail fiber cloth and more because it's cheap. You can make your own wool cloth if you had a farm. Uh, you can farm this, but it's not really necessary. I'll buy that. All right, now we get the food. Actually, before we do that, I need to make sure I've got enough mugs to cover everything. And this, I wish, if somebody could tell me if there's a select all. Oh, one thing about the bins, when you put a bin in there, you can choose the bin to select just the bin, and it'll sell everything in it. It'll tell you the value of all items in it, but I always like to keep my bins, so I just select the items inside the bins like so. And over time, you get kind of quickly by just eyeing this with avoiding the bins and, and oops, forgot one, and getting the mugs. And we've got a ton of mugs we've made this year. Some of them are way more expensive than others. This is one of the most tedious things, I think. Uh, Caravans are well worth it. And this is why I always keep one dwarf dedicated to making mugs. Oh goodness, we got a lot of mugs. And I usually try to sell all of them. Cause you can always find, like, if I, uh, you, you can always get stuff. Like, I might, if I have enough mugs, I might just buy that axe that steel axe you know Jesus I got a lot yeah I'm gonna buy that axe oh Jesus yeah I'm gonna go over on time here And sometimes the, they have, it's going to take them forever to leave. It, the, long, the more items you have, the longer it takes them to leave. That's why I try not to sell too many to the humans, because sometimes the humans are still in the, in the trading depot when the dwarves arrive and there's a traffic jam. All right. That is all my mugs. And let's see what else we got to buy. And buy some more wool cloth. I'm going to have to expand my... Trading Depot. We don't need all the cloth. Uh, and one of the things they don't sell is actual clothes. Alright, leather bin. Come on, what else we got? Alright, we'll buy... Uh, here we go. We'll buy the steel anvils. Uh, because we can smelt that. Oh, and... Uh, no, I'm not going to buy the silver bolts. Maybe I should. And we can melt them down and make something cool out of silver out of it. Alright. And now we're going to go into the food, double tap enter to buy. You know, in the older versions, you didn't have to do this. Uh, you could only buy five, but I think it's a lot less time than double tapping five each time. Mmm, rat meat. All right, so we'll like rat meat. We're going to have a lot of food this year. We might have to expand the uh, kitchen stockpile, too. I might have to get more miners to do that. We got another pickaxe, so we could definitely do it. Alright, hamster brain. 
More rat meat. Delicacy for the doors. Uh, wild boar, weasel meat, chop capybara, whatever that is. All right, escape on that. Honey bee, prepared honey bee. What the hell? All right, some wild boar. I guess wild boar meat. Oh god, this takes forever. Feel free to fast forward it at this point. <laughs> Alright. This is why I choose the meats, so that there's a lot of meats to choose from. Sometimes if you're in a situation where you can't get caravans, let's say you're in the undead zone or near Necromancy Tower and you're constantly being sieged by uh, the undead, oftentimes they kill and make the caravans undead as well. And then you don't get the caravans a nice supply of things or if there's a a siege during the time of tra traders come out there and then you just have to buck up and use your su internal supplies and that's why you use um, oh these are expensive all right I'm gonna buy some cheese as well since we've got a lot of we've got a lot of all right. I'm going to buy that. And all right, I'm going to buy the steel axe and see if they let me. Oh, I'm going to have to page up to get to that steel axe page up. Cuz I've got a plenty of money left or plenty of trader profit left over. Uh steel battle axe. There we go. One of the best weapons of the games, unless you get the Admantium. And I'm going to hit the T to trade. Oh. He doesn't want to trade. Alright, we want to undo that. Now we trade. Alright. He didn't want... Sometimes the values are so high that they didn't... He said he didn't want to trade, so what I did is I took the battle axe off and did that. You don't want to force trade it too many times. They get angry. All right, he seems ecstatic. He got he got a lot of it. he got like seven thousand profit out that. So those those dwarves will be fairly okay. What? Oh, <laughs> my traps caught something. I looked over here and there's some blood and some items in there. Apparently we just encountered our goblins, and I'm at the sea for civilization. Now we have encountered the. I can't read it for some reason. The this tile set you can't see some of the text. The seductions of tone goblins. And he upset one of the uh, persons out there, interrupted by a goblin thief. We've got a goblin. See this flashing G here? means a goblin stepped in our trap and died. So I'm going to hit D, B, C to claim the items that he dropped. I'm going to hit K to see what he dropped. Because they usually drop some items. Oh, look at all this crap this guy dropped. Uh, and that's why when you have invasions, you can basically clothe your fortress sometimes uh, without without uh, actually having a clothing industry. All right. Uh, let me think of what we need to do. Uh, so we've got all these goods. And let me check my... They're still digging. Is there anything... Actually, they're eating and sleeping. They're not digging. That's why I need more miners. Uh, if I get some peasants, let me see if I just have plain old peasants. I, I might convert them to miners. No, I don't have any peasants. I'm trying to think of who's not. Uh, who's not doing anything. All right. Um, Got two brew drinks. Brewer, brewer. Did I add a third brewer? Yeah, oh, he's on break. All right. Um, I'm kind of lost at what uh, what uh, what I was doing. Uh, I believe I was actually making some items to smelt, make charcoal. They're still melting. Let me hit Z and, and let's go to stocks and. 
Oh, we got a lot of meat now. And I'm hit page down. Let's quickly go down a page. And page down again. Um, bar, there it is. Bars. So we got bronze bars, light pewter bars, sterling silver bars, and some charcoal. I don't know why it's not showing me. There's something wrong with this graphics on occasion where it just, well, it says six when it flashes. So uh, we'll have some bronze and steel eventually here. All right. We need to make more traps there. And they're collecting the dead goblin stuff, which is kind of awesome. And another goblin died in the trap there. So I hit D, B, C to claim items. Because by default, when goblins die, they, their items are unclaimed, which means no one will pick it up. And it's good because if you're during a fight, the dwarves won't run outside and grab the, uh, the uh, dropped items. But you want them eventually. All right. So we got... Uh, so much stuff going on right now. Alright, see, we got, look at all this meat we got. Six, seven hundred. And we got a lot of drinks too, so we're, we're covered for a while. So we're, we're not gonna, if we're siege, we're, we're gonna be okay for a while. Um, uh, we built this. I'm gonna build another, I'm gonna build a lever for that trap, and I'm gonna put it on, Let's see, that was capital B or B capital T for trap, L for lever. Build the lever over here. Shell. So that way I know this one represents the internal switch down here. I generally don't build traps for the inside. Uh, generally because the things that you find in the caverns generally are tr they traps won't stop them, particularly forgotten beasts will generally um, run right over traps and are unaffected by it. All right. All right, I wanted to show you actually making some iron stuff. Uh, let me see if we've got any anything we've got in stocks. Let's go back to bars again. Uh, what do we have? Billion lay bronze sterling. You know what? We got sterling silver. You know what makes what's good for s uh, silver is uh, warhammer. Not warhammers. Maces. Actually, I think warhammers count as mace, but p particularly I like to make maces. Seems more door. Well, I don't know. Warhammer is more like the game warhammer, which I guess was a dwarven weapon. But anyways, I'm gonna make a mace. So I'm gonna hit the Q button. And I'm going to go to our smelter, hit add task, I'm going to go to weapons and ammunition, and I'm going to choose silver, and I'm going to choose silver mace, and escape. And I hopefully that's the right, I can't remember if sterling silver counts as silver without actually individually being counted as silver. We'll find out here in a second. Make sure we've got uh, our blacksmith. Uh, let's turn the blacksmith hauling off. You know, I need to actually increase my food stockpile. While we're here, hit the P button. F for food. Or P, F. For food. All right, hold on one second. I, I screwed that up. P, X. Ah, uh, screw it. We'll just build it later. We're, I think the they'll consolidate with bins. All right, and what is our blacksmith planting seeds? Jesus Christ, why is he... He's not a farmer. I don't know. I probably need another farm plot that has... Uh, actually, let me check that blacksmith. Oh, he has farming turnip. Why in the world 
Will the blacksmith have in hunting? I'm gonna turn off health care. Why he would have the those options turned on is beyond me. I don't know. Sometimes th that there's a, there's a bug in that option. All right. So they're hauling everything. All right. Uh, da -da -da -da, you. I was hoping to show you actually having him blacksmith. Let's turn metal smithing all the way on. Make sure he has all the options for metal crafting. All right, give it a second. And he is drinking. All right. Well, I was hoping to show you making. Basically, at that point, when he's going to get around to it, that blacksmith should, at the forge, grab a piece of charcoal, grab a piece of silver, and make a mace, which our military can use. So we've covered a uh, basic forge setup, uh, some tips on mining. And also more tr and setting up a bookkeeper to kind of keep track of all your items. Um, I'm going to call this video quits, and we're going to continue in our next episode uh, uh, after this. And I, I'm not sure what we're going to do in particular. I might get a minecart set up to show you how to get a minecart set up just for the fun. Uh, I'll dig around a little bit deeper and see if I can find any metal, and hopefully we'll have a little bit more fun trying to get our military and everything set up to have actually a decent set of armor and decent set of weapons. So thanks for watching and you ha everyone have a good night.